Welcome to a new collection video. Well, by the time some people watch it, it may not be new, but it is new at the moment. So, I'm gonna go through my jazz vinyl record collection. A lot of these records I haven't shown on the channel in quite some time. Some are new to the collection. Uh, I think some of these newer ones um, that I've acquired, I have showed, not all of them though. And it's not that many. But anyways, I'm going to actually have them in some of these in the order that I actually bought them. And um, this is the first, probably second jazz record I owned, or first. Um, Hank Mobley's uh, Roll Call. This is a classic records reissue. I did not keep this sticker with this one for whatever reason. I don't know why, but um, yeah. Um, originally when I started buying these, records I thought oh I'll just only buy the audiophile labeled ones you know like um, analog productions and classic records small fidelity and I soon found out that I couldn't afford it it was just way too expensive um, but this has been faithfully reproduced with the I think it's the Stanton jacket uh, yeah Great album, just great album. I listened to it on in MP3 format um, last weekend or a couple of days ago or some whatnot, and uh, really a great record. I'm gonna uh, definitely listen to it. Hang on here. I don't have a place for the the ones that I've shown. And that re previous record is a 200 gram record along with this one. Hank Mobley's Soul Station. Also, I have this on XR CD and the Rudy Van Gelder CD reissue. That's the, the weakest sounding one of them all, but it was cheap. Classic Records, Quick's Super Vinyl Profile here. Sounds amazing. All analog. A lot of these are all analog except for, I think, one. And I'll talk about that. But this is another awesome album by Hank Mobley. Love that cover too. The blue, blues in it. The color blue. <laughs> uh, Louis, oops. Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington. I'm trying to preserve the original sleeve, but it's, it's coming apart. Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington recording for the first time. I also recently bought this on CD last year. Um... I believe that was it was last year another classic records reissue on 200 gram vinyl one disc all original album tracks this will probably be multiple parts yeah that's a great record as well i mean none of the records i buy are bad uh, in my opinion this is a japanese uh i forget here we go Sonny Clark's Strutton, awesome album here. It's a night originally released in 1958, and this is a 1977 Japanese uh, Blue Note reissue. Comes with the Obi strip. It was in it's in light new condition still. Um, it's part of the Immortal Masterpiece series, limited edition. That's back when I was really listening to. The people in the YouTube vinyl community know what versions of records to buy. This is a clear vinyl version of Ballads. It's not an official pressing, but it does sound good. And this is one of my digital uh, sourced records. I'm pretty sure it's digitally sourced. And this is a uh, Doxy label uh, manufactured in Europe, 140 gram audiophile clear vinyl. Printed in 2014 by Doxy Music. Sounds good, and uh, picked it up for the clear vinyl aspect of it. I could have gotten a, a uh, impulse version of that, but a reissue, but nah, decided not to. Um, yeah, this is the big one. John Coltrane's Blue Train. This cost me a pretty penny. This is my most expensive um, album in my collection, or jazz collection, that is. And this is a, well, I'll just show it. Acoustic, acoustic mastering, acoustic mastering, yes, uh, by Kevin Gray and Steve Hoffman. Supposedly there was a newer version of this coming out on the Analog Productions website. 
Um, hang on one second. Um, but yeah, something on the, uh, another issue on the analog, or was it, yeah, analog productions website, but that, um, I don't think that's happened yet, but this is two LPs at 180, uh, gram vinyl records, all analog, um, reissue, and it sounds amazing. I think it's half speed as well. Uh, let's see here. Original stereo sta tapes is remastered from that, and yes, it is 45 RPM. Miles Davis, Rhino at Midnight, original master recording, uh, Mobile Fidelity re release. It's numbered as well, stamped number 3669. This is a reissue from 20 2012. All original album tracks. Mono sound as well, I believe. Sounds amazing. Miles Davis, Sketches of Spain, arranged and conducted by Gil Evans. Or Gil, yeah, Gil Evans. Another, that's another uh, Mo Fidelity re release on the red label. Uh, or red strip. Uh, another 2012 reissue. And this is uh, another. Kind of high number issue, number 3,596, all original album tracks here. Sounds amazing, and I had a chance, I've continually thought about buying the Super Audio CD of it. Just never got around to it, and why do it when I have the record, right? Analog Productions, uh, issue of Miles Davis. Someday My Prince Will Come, it's a gatefold. I'm uh, pretty sure it is. No, it's actually not. But nice, nice jacket. Kind of expensive. Quality records pressing. I always keep the stickers now. Um, and I know early analog productions, uh, reissues or records had their label on, uh, their logo on some of the labels. They didn't basically, or didn't use the original labels um, on the records. That's not a bad thing, it's just one thing I noticed recently when watching a certain YouTuber <clears throat> show one of their early releases. Bags Groove and Miles Davis, um, you know, Milt Jackson at the uh, Xylophone. Great album. Also own it on XRCD. Original album tracks. <laughs> yes, this will have to be a two parter. Uh, a more recent, uh, this is probably my last buy of an analog productions uh, pressing something else by uh, with cannonball cannonball Adderley, miles davis and so forth other personnel miles davis performs courtesy of columbia records this is a reissue done in 20 2008 originally released in 1958 2lp reissue i think it's 45 rpm not sure exactly it has i haven't played it in a while but yeah just amazing record and this is an oldie this is like the only original jazz record I own and that is Miles Davis's Milestones released in 1957 I believe or 58 one of the two I don't have an information card on it but was very glad to find this um, I was gonna get the mole fidelity reissue but I already have that on um, super audio CD so yeah, but that, that I was so glad to find that at the price that I did. I was just thrilled. Dave Brubeck Quartet. This is an Analog Productions reissue in the original sleeve. I think it's the 33 RPM edition. I did order the 45 RPM edition, but got this instead. And was refunded some money because of that, because uh, I paid more. Uh, a lot of these records, my jazz records I buy, are already sealed. Even the high dollar ones. So come back for... My Jazz Collection Updated Part 2. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you like my content.